Hi, wannabe families. I wanted to tell you a little bit about something that we're going to start um, that's new and we're going to start it today, Monday, um, and then we're going to continue using it throughout December and see how it works. So it's called Boom Cards and basically it's kind of like um, an interactive game that your child will be playing. Um, but I give them assignments very similarly to Seesaw. Um, so they're assigned an activity that they need to do. The difference here with the boom cards, as they're called, is that it gives them immediate feedback about whether or not they're answering the questions properly. And it kind of cycles through sort of like a game situation. So I'm going to go over it a little bit here with you how you log in, and then we'll explore it on Monday and see how it goes. So you're going to... Um, I'll give you this information, but basically you're going into boomlearning.com if you're using a computer. If you're using um, a tablet or an iPad or something, there's an app that you can download, and I'll give you the, the information, uh, what the app name is, but you're looking for boom cards, basically. Uh, then when you go to sign in, you can sign in as a student or down here. It doesn't matter which one. And you're actually just going to log in with Google, very similarly to how we logged in with Prodigy. Um, it's kind of the same thing. So you're going to sign in with Google and then it's going to pop up your Google accounts. Uh, now, if you're the only person that's used the computer, your child, uh, their student Google account, then that's the only one that will pop up. If there's more people um, that are using that same thing, then you'll have to pick the right one. So you can see I still have <laughs> Amira and Renee's in here from when we, uh, when I was showing how to do Prodigy. So I'll just borrow Amira's account again to show you how you're going to log in. Um, if you've already saved your password in here, then it'll be super easy. So let's see if hers has saved from when we went into Prodigy. You click on your child's school account and kaboom! <laughs> there we go. That's it. Easy peasy. Um, once you're into Boom Cards, you'll notice your child's name. Um, and if they've changed their, their little avatar -y thing. Um, there's a few things up here, notebook assignment settings. The main one we're concerned about is the, the assignments, um, which is the default that it goes to. Uh, they get points and gems and all sorts of crazy things. But basically what we want is down here at the very bottom where it says decks assigned, that's where the assignments are. So the assignment tab at the top is clicked and then decks assigned at the bottom here. It also tells what grade or what classroom she's in. It should say 1B. If it says something else, then let me know if something's gone wrong. Um, but basically the assignments are down here. And so how it works is as soon as your, your child touches um, the boom card activity, then it starts to record them in terms of if they're getting the questions right or wrong, as well as how long it's taking them on the questions. So this is really powerful in terms of assessment for me. So I can see um, maybe your child is always getting the questions right, but they're taking a very long time, which tells me that we need to work on some uh, getting efficient with the skills or practicing to make it a little bit easier for them. Similarly, maybe they're getting them all wrong, but they're doing them really, really fast, which tells me that we need to slow down and work on following directions or um, that sort of thing. So I'm not actually going to go into Amira's anymore. I'm going to come into mine and show you, whoops, come into mine here and show you uh, what it looks like to go through an activity. So of course mine looks a little bit different than everybody else's, but I'm able to see all the students and when I click on them it gives me a report which basically tells me how they've been doing on the assignments, how quickly they've been answering the questions, which questions they're getting wrong, which ones they're getting right. And so that can be really great um, leading towards something that uh, if I know where we're going or, or if we need to review or if we can move on to the next activity. So basically when the student clicks on their activity, this is what it looks like. And this is the first one that I've assigned them. It's um, being able to recognize numbers. So we know these are 10 frames and then there's an extra 10 frame. So how this one works is they actually just click a button and if they get it right, it says, oh, we got it right. You can see up here, there's a button that says give up. <laughs> so hopefully they wouldn't do that. But if they're really stuck, they could. Um, there's a spot up here that says hide the card or skip it or previous. Um, they'll get pretty good at these. There's also a place where it can read the instructions. So let's say I guess wrong. It says, oh, you did it wrong. What if I did it again? Oops, you did it wrong. And if I did it right, oh, ding. And then we go on to the next card. So that's kind of how it works. We'll try it on Monday.